remember when we asked you to keep track of the time that your streetlights went on? Well, here's some data we got from Boston for February, March, and April. This line graph shows the month and the day on the bottom and the time at night that the lights turned on on the side. Look at this pattern. Each month, the light goes on later and later at night. On February 1st, the street lights came on at 5.30 at night. And on March 1st, the street lights came on at 6 o'clock at night. This means that the sun sets later and later each day. I also noticed that there were some days that the street lights came on earlier. On February 7th, the street lights came on at 5.20. And just a few days before, they came on at 5.30. This makes sense because our data shows that it was rainy on February 7th, so it would be darker out and the lights would come on earlier. Also, at the beginning of April, the street lights suddenly went on much later. That's because it was the end of daylight savings time and everyone set their clocks ahead one hour. So, the lights came on an hour later than they did the day before. Why don't you try watching the street lights in your neighborhood, right around the time that it gets dark? Be sure to keep track of what time they go on. If you do this at least three times a week for two weeks, you'll probably start to see a pattern. Write down the date, the time, and what the weather was like, and send your data to the Zoom website at pbskids.org, where you can also see data from Zoomers around the country.